Welcome back. Thank you very much for your interest in this video. We are going to be doing another analysis video with regards to bud blast because every orchid is different. When my Catliantha white bridal, Snow White, pushed out a spike and buds, I made a video thinking this could be interesting to see because many times we have to ask ourselves whether an orchid should bloom or if we have to conserve the energy of said orchid and not let her bloom. So I made the calculated decision in that video, which I will link below and put up a card so that you can go back and reference to my conclusions as to why I was gonna let this orchid bloom. One of the factors in that video was, let the orchid do her thing. If I need to intervene, I will cut the spike prematurely. And I also mentioned in that video, chances are she's gonna blast her buds because maybe she doesn't have enough energy. However, there are many more factors that could be taken into consideration as to why this orchid chose to blast her buds. And that is something with a list that I've referenced in the orchid lingo video called buds. And I want to go through that list with you today again, analyzing this orchid as to why this has happened. And seeing as she's new in my collection, this is only the first go around. If she had bloomed out, I would have been overjoyed, but that would have been too much of a good thing in my opinion. So let's go into that list and let's give this orchid a good once over analysis as to why this happened and what I need to be aware of for the next go around if I get that chance. Overwatering and underwatering. I can exclude that point because she's got roots in her pot and I can see that her structures are plump. They haven't shriveled any further beyond the first video I did, should she even bloom. Improper lighting. I'm going to exclude that because this orchid being a bifoliate doesn't really like that much high light. So where she was located, she got plenty of light coming in through the terrace door and residual light throughout the rest of the day, sometimes direct sun, in the morning and then a lot of residual light reflecting off the facade wall that is right outside her location. Temperature fluctuations. That is one I'm going to put into my list for the next go around because she was trying to bloom in the season where the temperatures were going from low, sometimes a little higher, sometimes drop down really low. When I opened the terrace door, all these little factors could have caused the bud blast. So I'm gonna take that into consideration. Humidity highs and lows. Nope, no problem during the winter. My humidity is steady around 70%. So I'm not concerned about any humidity fluctuations. Also because of her setup of Lekka and self-watering. Pollutants. Yeah, I'm going to take that into consideration because I do have a gas heater going sometimes at night when I'm working at my desk. She is so far away from that gas heater, but every orchid is different. We need to consider any kind of pollutants in that sense. And it is a possibility that she is affected being a bifoliate, being a diva. Now I've had other orchids bloom out that were much, much closer to that gas heater, but you never know with the divas. Pests, eliminate that. No pests on this orchid from the day I got her. First time bloomer, absolutely for me. And from what I can see, even though she has a sheath in the back here, that didn't bloom out either. So it could be a first time bloomer symptom, the fact that she didn't have enough energy to bloom out. Nutrient deficiency, yes. I have to take that into consideration, seeing as I have been very conservative during the colder months of the year and I wasn't fertilizing as heavily. It is possible that this orchid needs more fertilizer, more calcium in order to bloom out. So that is something definitely I have on my list. Her location. As much as I'm convinced I gave her the right location, I didn't move her around. The moment she came into the growth space at the end of November of 2021, I did not move her from that space. It appeared ideal to me, but I must consider that maybe the fact that she is in that location, it was not good enough because that segues straight into the point of the list that addresses drafts. Opening the terrace door where she lives, drafts are an option. I do try to time it in such a way before I open that terrace door to allow fresh air in that the temperatures outdoors and indoors match, but I might be getting it wrong, especially because a breeze might be too chilly and it's all a little bit premature. So her location and the draft, these two, in my opinion, definitely have to be taken into consideration for the next go around. 
Now, when it comes to the bonus point with not enough structures on an orchid in order to bloom out, I'm going to have to say yes and no. I'm not entirely sure about that yet because I haven't had her a year. This was the first go around and there's a lot of other factors that I need to consider prior to thinking that she has too little structures to bloom out. I believe she has plenty of structures to bloom out, but I don't know this orchid well enough. So I have to take that yes and no. It's a possibility into consideration. It's not a definitive yes, and it's definitely not a definitive no. So the odds are there, seeing as she is a division, maybe the fact that she tried to bloom out, being a first time bloomer, that she didn't have enough energy within herself to bloom out. So yes and no on that one. It's definitely something that I have to keep in mind. Oh, and it's at this point I get to do this. I'm not going to wait any longer. I've seen what has happened. No need for the obvious to be staring in my face. Unfortunately, my oldest, oldest wish list orchid, which came to my collection later than anybody else that I could find on the market, gave me a lot of hope to see the blooms sooner than I had expected. But in the back of my mind, I was prepared for bug blast. I would have loved to have been proven wrong. This would have been an exciting blooming for me. But she's healthy, and with this bud blast, her new structures will start to grow at the right time of year because now the hormones are going to kick in and say, whoops, we didn't make it this time around. We've got to start a new growth. And that one will be interesting to see because she is acclimating into my environment. She will start her new growth through spring and summer, and then we shall see if she is going to be capable to bloom and if the spike develops sooner and not during the winter months. That can make a whole lot of difference as well. So I'm excited to see what she does next because when this one blooms out, it's party time. <laughs> I hope that you will be around to see that happen, to follow her progress throughout the coming growing season. Really appreciate the fact that you took interest in watching another analysis video. Any questions, let me know in the comments. If you haven't seen my Orchid Lingo bud video or this video, should she bloom using my Catlianthe White Bridal Snow White as the prime example, they will be linked in the description. Have a look at that and then see how you feel now that you've seen this video. Either way, the comments are there for a reason. Even just say hi, let me know that you're here. Appreciate your time. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition. Please let you stay safe. Take care. Bye. <music>